Welcome to Calvary United Methodist Church. I am Stephanie Dunn and I am the Minister of Connection and Engagement here. BJ and Laura are at the beach this week and so I am filling in to help you know a little bit about what's going on around here and there is a lot. We have big changes coming to Sunday mornings around here starting on March 28th in a week. Um, we are going to have indoor, in-person worship in our gym. We are so excited to be able to move indoors together for the first time in a year. If you would like to join us for this in-person service, you will need to make reservations online because our capacity is limited. We're limited to 100 people. So please go to www.calvaryumc slash worship to find more information about that service and, um, and to find the link to register you, yourself and your family there. We will continue to have our 1030 in-person parking lot worship service and our 815 service that's in the gym will also be live streamed. And you can access that at the same place as you have been accessing it. If you know someone who is not able to access our worship services in person or online, we have subscribed to a service where people can actually call in on their phones and hear the service on Sunday morning. Those services are up around 930 in the morning. If you want information about how to access that service, um, you can go online to our website to find the phone number and have more information about that too. March 28th marks the beginning of Holy Week, which is the first Sunday that we will be back in the building for in-person worship services. So that's the day that all of our new worship times and protocols will begin. So be sure to check that out on our website, on our worship page. Monday, Thursday is that week, April 1st, Thursday, April 1st, and Good Friday is Friday, April 2nd. We will have services for both Monday, Thursday and Good Friday. Our service on Thursday and Friday will be at 630, both of them. They will both be in person in the gym, which you will need to register if you're going to be in person or available by live stream. Easter Sunday is the following Sunday, Sunday, April 4th. We are excited to add a service this year for Easter Sunday. We're having a sunrise service at 6.15 in the morning. And if you would like to join us for that service, you do not need to make reservations and it will be out in the front lawn next to the columbarium. We hope that you'll be able to join us for either that service, but if that's a little bit early, we will have our 8.15 service, which will be in person in the gym if you are if you make reservations online i invite you to join us in person in the gym if you are not able to join us in person in the gym for that service it will also be live streamed we will have our in the parking lot service at 10 30 that morning and you do not need to make reservations for that service because we have plenty of space uh, to physical distance for that service for as many people as are able to come. So we, we are very hopeful to be able to get to worship the resurrected Christ with you coming up very, very soon. Our church retreat is coming up. The dates for that are Friday, April 23rd through Saturday, April 24th, or Saturday, April 24th through Sunday, April 25th. In order to accommodate for as many people as possible, we've broken down what is traditionally one retreat into two different retreats so that we can make sure that whoever wants to come is able to come. So if you would like to register for that, I encourage you to go to our website. And from there, you, there is a link that you can follow to get to the registration for the church retreat. We will be ordering Easter flowers this year and the time to order that is now. If you want to order Easter flowers to help make our gym very beautiful, then you can find that form in this week's edition of From Our Hill. There are lots of fun things coming up for kids at Calvary. We are having an Easter egg hunt this year on Easter Sunday. This will be at 9.15 on Easter Sunday morning. If you would like to participate in that for your children or your grandchildren or friends in your neighborhood, they will need to register to make sure that we are properly prepared for them. So if you want to access the link to register for that, 
that also is in this week's edition of From Our Hill. More information is coming out about Vacation Bible School this summer. Tiffany is so excited to be able to offer a really fun experience. The details are still developing about that, so be sure to keep your eyes open to upcoming editions of From Our Hill for the details about that. United Methodist Youth Fellowship, UMYF, is coming back weekly in the Christian Life Center, or our gym. They are meeting from 4.45 to 6 p.m. weekly. And there will also be confirmation classes for our 6th, 7th, and 8th graders starting on March 21st. That's this Sunday. And that is from 4.45 to 6 p.m. If you have questions about that, you can email either Olivia or Chris, and they'll be able to get you the information on that. We have a traveling Lenten prayer wall that is moving to all different parts of our spaces outdoors. If you haven't participated in this yet, I really encourage you to come out and take a look. Melissa's put together a really beautiful experience for you to come and have prayerful practices around the church and also to contribute to a beautiful piece of art that is going to help make our Easter worship very meaningful. This week, the prayer, prayer wall will be moving to our labyrinth. So while you're pray, praying uh, with our prayer wall, experiencing some uh, special sacred time with our prayer wall, you can also visit our labyrinth and maybe take a walk through there. We are, as we are expanding our in-person offerings on Sunday morning, we're needing to grow our hospitality team. We have had a wonderful group of very committed people who have helped make people worshiping with us in our parking lot feel comfortable and welcome and helping us follow our COVID guidelines and also making sure that people have everything that they need in order to enter worship, such as communion elements or different seasonal packets to be distributed. We are needing to grow that team because we are growing our in-person offerings. So we're gonna need people who are able to offer hospitality at both our 815 service and our 1030 service. If you would like to help with this, please email me at stephanie at calvaryumc.com because we need you so that we can offer and extend to one another hospitality in this season of transition. I think that's all that we have coming up. That's a lot. There's a lot coming up, a lot that is very exciting and hopeful and good. And so I hope that we are able to see one another very soon and as we prepare to celebrate Easter with one another.